All right, we're gonna look at the uh, difference between Salesforce roles and Salesforce profiles um, and how you should use each of them. So first thing we need to do is kind of define uh, why or you know what a Salesforce profile controls and what a Salesforce role controls or effects. So we're gonna start with profiles. Uh, if I go over to profiles here in my setup menu, I can see that there's uh, a lot of these standard profiles as well as some custom profiles. I'm using a dev org. Uh, so there's gonna be, you know, whatever was loaded in here um, prior is what's showing up. Now, if I click into a profile here, this one says custom sales profile. You can see I'm on uh, a couple different pages here. If I hit edit, I'm taken to a page where I can select an app. Uh, I can choose what type of tabs the user can see. Uh, I can have the uh, like system permissions uh, per se, like different things in here, like manage IP addresses, manage list views, manage uh, all data, general system permissions. Here you can see general user permissions. There's some more activate order, manage leads, manage flow. Et cetera, et cetera. And then I get to standard object permissions. So here I can set my cred, create, read, edit, and delete uh, permissions on a profile. So you can see here, if anyone has this profile, they have read, create, edit, and delete for the accounts object. That's what they're allowed to do on the accounts object. They're allowed to do the same thing with assets, opportunities, leads. Uh, and the further I scroll down here, you can see the different types of uh, access that they have to objects. Now, based on everything that we're seeing here, you can see that the profile uh, gives system permissions and then object level permissions, right? So nowhere, for the most part, as we're looking at uh, all of these settings here, it's, it's defining actions that someone can take on an object. Now we do have view all and modify all, uh, which is more particular to data. You can see, see here data administration, where if you do have those checked on, that can override a role setting. Now, if we jump over to roles, you can see here there's not uh, as much uh, like detail or whatever that, that you can see. But the first thing that we're just going to look at, it's like a, it looks like a standard org chart, right? You set up different users, you can expand. Um, you can see that the CEO has a CFO, CEO, uh, COO under them. If I expand sales and marketing, I could see we have a couple layers down here as well. Uh, and if I click into the role, there's a couple different things here, but it talks about opportunity access, case access. Users in this role can edit all opportunities associated with accounts that they own, regardless of who owns the opportunities. So it's talking about record access. It's not talking about object access. It's not saying, hey, I, ha I as a user have this type of permission on the opportunity object. It's saying, hey, as somebody in this role, what records should they be able to edit? So if we look at this in like the form of Excel, it would, it would be like saying, you know, who has permission to edit each row in the Excel and what rows can you edit? Whereas the profile is granting access to the whole sheet, right? If, if it's a singular um, kind of object. So if I go in here to sharing, You can see that there's default internal access. There's a bunch of stuff in here, grant access using hierarchies, default external access, and you have private, public read, write, uh, controlled by campaign, controlled by parent. We're gonna see a lot of different things here. All of this is referring to what records users can edit. So let's say uh, I am on that custom sales profile. That's the first thing, right? So. On that custom sales profile, it says that I have create, read, edit, and delete. Great. So I have create, read, edit, and delete for opportunities. But then uh, on the role, 
you'd be able to control and say, okay, what opportunities does that person have create, read, edit, and delete permissions for, right? So here we have this set to public read, write, um, default internal. So that means somebody with that uh, profile in this role can literally uh, and any role in the system, because these are the organization-wide defaults, can edit anything in the system. Now, if I were to set this to private, it's taken some time to render here. So you see it's a uh, sharing operations. I'd have to come down here and then create an opportunity sharing rule to say, hey, I want these type of users to be able to edit each other's opportunities or edit opportunities within a certain criteria. But in general, if, if you take away kind of one thing, the biggest difference between profiles and roles in Salesforce is profiles are going to be system and object oriented permissions uh, and roles are going to be record related permissions.